<laughs> I'm rocking out, baby. No, I'm out here riding around in the Arizona desert. Beautiful day, got a light breeze out here. And I mean, we do some exploring. What do you think, you wanna go with me, boy? Ha, ah, I couldn't hear you, say it again. Well, if you do, you better smash that like button, boy. Smash it hard. No, let's go. All right, what do we got here, boy? Ooh, it's a mighty deep mine shaft. <laughs> Ooh wee. No, it's a starter, starter shaft. You can see what they're chasing right there, that altered zone. I need something a little bit bigger to wet my whistle, boy. So let's get on out there and take a look around. Because I got a whole mess of desert and a whole bunch of mines. Don't mind me. All right, let's go, boy. I got all this float. You see this float, boy? And there's a vein right there. Look at that huge piece of quartz. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> and it's got mineralization in it too. See that? I bet you can't tell where I'm at, can you? Anyway, I've got tons and tons of trachyte. It's in the andesite family. This whole area is nothing but trachyte, dacite domes. Anyway, see this? So there's this vein that's running east and west. I wonder where it goes, boy. Let's take a look. Huh. Over here, maybe? Over here? Down there? Who knows? Oh, it goes right here. Look at that bunker. Now that, ah, that's a quartz bang. How do you like them beans, boy? That's got to be, what, five, six feet wide. And you can see where they blasted the heck out of that bunker. And like I said, it travels all the way down the hill and there's another mine down below. Now, if you notice, the surface ain't got much in it. They didn't mess with the surface material. Most of that's gonna leach out naturally. And it's gonna travel down. Sometimes through super gene, all these other processes. So as they went down, I'm sure it got richer and richer. And you can see that the uh, hanging wall and the foot wall, that's foot wall, that's a hanging wall. It's mostly trachyte, which is in the andesite family, like I told you. Now, what you can do is sample the mine dumps, because a lot of times there's, there's free mill gold associated with these types of deposits, these fissure filling silica deposits. And you can go around here in these mine dumps, as long as it's not claimed up, and you can sample to see if you can find any free mill gold, then bring a dry washer back. Make sure you check land status. Somebody might have this under claim right now. I didn't bring my repelling gear, I know or else I'd drop down in here and see. Now, just a minute ago, I saw a barn owl fly out of here, so I, I hope he ain't got babies. I don't want to scare him. I hope he comes back. Anyway, I just wanted you to see the type of deposits that we're seeing out here, and I'll pick up some grab samples and see if there's anything in it. I'll show that to you later. But let's keep exploring because I'm curious. This is perfect area for gold deposition, for this type of model anyway. Remember, there's 12 models. Anyway, enough jaw jacking, right? You're like, Jeff, I'm tired of you talking. Why don't you get out there and find me some shiny? Well, I'm going to do that, boy. And yeah, you're going to get wet. So you know what I'm going to say, Mr. Bardo? That's right. So come on. Let's go. Now, one more thing. I want you to see something because this is very important. Running right through here. I got a dike right here. You see it? It's a basaltic dike, diabase dike. You can see it running right through here. Now, why is that important? Now, I've seen a lot of gold deposits that have formed in country rock wherever it's been cut by either basalt or diabase dikes. The reason why is because the temperature it heats up the rock and it percolates the minerals out of the surrounding country rock. And then, of course, you got groundwater in there that helps transport it and then it redeposits it. So that's something to think about when you're out in these gold bearing districts is if you see a big old quartz deposit, of course you're gonna sample that. But wherever you see these diabase or basaltic dikes cutting through and you got quartz stringers next to that, sample and dig down below. Sometimes the minerals have leached out. Ooh, look at all this quartz. See the vein running all the way across the ridge? 
all the way over to that other mine. Like I said, it's got a northeast southwest trend to it. It goes over the other mine we were just at over there. And look what I found. It says, welcome. Welcome, baby. Yeah. What did I tell you about tortoises? They're always following me around. Isn't that right, son of a boy? He's even got a cute little hat on him. Where'd you get that hat, boy? All right, take a look at this vein, sonny boy. Now, see that? That's that vein. It's Over here, it's about seven, maybe eight foot wide. Then the shaft gets real small. You see that? Obviously, they didn't find any good mineralization. It just looks like bull quartz. Like I said, for it to be any good, it's got to have mineralization in it. I don't see a lot of that here. So we're going to travel up to the next mine because the mine dump looks pretty substantial. And it's sunk on this same vein. So, ooh, you know what I'm going to say, don't you, boy? Why don't you say it with me? Huh? Oh, somebody's dog. So, you know what I'm saying? So come on, let's go. There's a little spider living in there. Little trapdoor spider. Stick your finger in there, boy, and see what pops out. It's like got a triangle head on it and a little stem. If anybody out there in the audience knows what this is, leave me a comment below. I don't know what the heck that is. All right, come here, boy, look at this. You got a big mine dump right here, you see it? And I got a bunch of quartz over there and they have a trestle there and they're probably loading up the good ore over there. You can see well-defined vein structure right here. It's about maybe seven, seven and a half feet wide. And of course the hanging wall and the foot wall are both the same. It's that lovely trachyte, which is in the andesite family. I already told you that. And you can see stringers everywhere and it's buggy. Now I'm assuming they got good mineralization out of here based on the size of the mine dump. And there's a camp on the other side of the hill. Tons of cans, you can see where a bunch of buildings were. Anyway, I'd love to be able to rappel down this one. Now the, the downside to a lot of the mines in this area is that the water table is close to the surface. I'd say water table's only maybe 100, a little over 100 feet down. Hear that? Are you thirsty, boy? All right, well, I can't explore these. I'm looking for any side haulage addits that go into them, try to get in. So we'll keep moseying up the road. You want to go with me, huh? Well, come on, boy. Just don't sit there like a bump on the log. Get your stuff together and load up. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. team smiley face. No, that's team AU. So come on, let's go, baby. any gold in this wash I'll have to put it on the map and check it later all right let's head up that hill looks like somebody's been living out here boy oh, let's go take a look mm. unless they had a small mill here I'm not really sure it's nice and flat I could put a tent right here Ooh, and I got trails everywhere. Ooh, there's probably lost gold mines everywhere out here. I can just, I can just smell it, boy. Lost gold mines. Look at that view in the background, huh? Ooh, isn't that nice? How'd you like to wake up to that? All right, let's keep going up the trail, see what we see. What the heck is that? I know what that is. But what is that? Is this some kind of marker? I see a claim post over there. Not really sure what that is. Maybe it's something to let us know where we're at. 
Maybe there's a secret treasure nearby and they're marking it. Or maybe the wind just put it there. All right, let's keep moving on. Ooh, look at this. It's a giant ant hill. I'd like to fall into that bunker. That's why some of these mines can be really real dangerous. It's because the coal either collapses, rots away, or they burn it, vandals burn it, or the people who sunk the shaft want the timber, so they pull the timber out. And the problem is, is you can see where all the mine dump has collapsed down in it. Because after they get so far up, they have to extend the top of the collar of the shaft. And then they start dumping mine dump around it. That's why it looks like this. And if you look carefully, you can see the different bands or levels or layers of strata in there that they were going through. And that'll kind of give you an idea of what's down below. And the reason why they sunk a shaft here is because up there is a daysite dome. Daysite is in the rhyolite family. See that white, nasty material? That's daysite. And you have druzy quartz in that, that nasty daysite. Now, did they find anything? Nope, no mineralization in it. So they're just chasing a pipe dream. But you never know, it could get down far enough and then you hit, start hitting pockets or bands of mineralization and happy days are here again. But man, I'll tell you what, it's, it's windy up here. It's like me trying to hang wallpaper in a sandstorm it's it's pretty bad so let's get back in the old trusty dusty toy what is that thing going to be called i don't I haven't come up with a name yet for our new toy so i want y'all to leave me a comment down below tell me what kind of name we should start calling our toy our mule our mechanical mule anyway and it better be good boy and, and keep it pg all right let's get on out of here They're hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry? Hi. What's your name, sonny boy? Nice huh? to you. want to go for a ride? So oh, look at that silly boy. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Watch your little head. There's a baby. There's two babies. It says, don't feed me. That was a different color. Like, he's a mix. <laughs> what are you doing, silly boy? Come here. Come on. I'm trying to give you some loving. I ain't got no food. Looks like you had enough food already. Somebody's over there looking for more food. Man, there's... Oh, you want to go for a ride? Huh? You want to go... No? Okay. Oh, he says, not unless you got something to eat. Some num-nums. All right. All right, I'll leave you be. You know where we're at now, don't you, son of a boy? That's right, we're in Oatman. Oh, I tell you what, so much history. And so much gold. You know, there's still gold here. It's right up over that ridge right there. Next time, I'll show you exactly where it's at. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here because i got to go wet my whistle. Driving around on those hills has parched me some. Mm-mm-mm.
and then I'm gonna go back out and look for some of that shiny. So I know it's a short video, but if you like today's video, you better like. <laughs> all right, look who I found out in Oatman. Tell him your name and what this is all about. Bobby Mercic. And Oatman, Arizona. What do you do out here? I do do gold panning. See that? That's his shop. Panning. You come up here and see him. You can't miss him. There's a burrow across the way. He's right over here by the hotel or whatever that thing is. Museum. Yeah. Museum. And uh, got all kinds of local stones, selenite. Now you do gold you too, do, right? Do gold, yeah. They do gold. So if you want gold, come see this guy. Yeah. And I think this guy does uh, 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 ring setting or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he does rings. He did this one oh, here. Oh, look at that. Ain't that a beaut? So if you need ring setting, it's that building right there. What's his name, Jack? His name's Don. Oh, I thought it was yep. Jack. No, nope, Don. <laughs> I was thinking of Nevada Jack. Yeah. It's, uh, All right, well, you got any, any shout outs for anybody out there? Come on, let's go. No, that's my <laughs> life. Come on, let's go.